Okay, we got a bunny neuter. I tend to do these pre-scrotal. Um, you'll see we have my tech listening to the heart. Um, these guys tend to be a little bit finicky for anesthesia. I have induced him with ketamine midazolam and we're maintaining on ISO. Routine prep, you just wanna be super careful of they're very thin skin. When I was taught to do rabbits, they described it as pretend you're making your incision and that will be deep enough. So, we're gonna make our pre-scrotal incision. And their testicles tend to um, be very mobile. So they like to go up into their abdomen. He's a little light, Hannah. We're gonna turn him up on his ice, though. tend to be pretty firmly adhered. So I'm kind of going to just bluntly dissect them out. And basically now we've got to, well, we can do that, replace our inverted scrotum that tends to happen. Right. And I'm going to use a modified Miller's on the pedicle. I'm using four aught. We're circling around twice. Hemostats through the loop and pull. Cinch that down nice and tight. And remove our testicle. Check our pedicle for bleeding and then replace our inverted scrotum. Now on to our second one.
Strip it down. And these guys do tend to have thicker pedicles than um, you know cats and dogs that we're used to dealing with. So you don't want to overstrip it. And then we're going to do another modified Miller's. check for bleeding, which there is none. Replace our scrotum. And then we're going to close. So these guys, I try to just keep everything intradermal so they don't have anything to chew on. I kind of do one just general opposing uh, sub-Q everything together. Right. And then I do a purse string intradermal and be very careful with forceps on the skin. Their skin is very sensitive very thin, and they tend to be prone to self-mutilation. You can turn his ISO off now. And fairy or not. And we now have a nice neutered bunny. We're gonna give him a tattoo and send him home.